Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, receipts are on deck. Rick uh, Snay, if you want to check your Facebook Messenger, I messaged you under there, but we're not Facebook friends, so it's probably like you'll have to go to like a, your other folder thingy. Um, let's see. I didn't want to have to make this video because I didn't want Kay to feel vindicated that she really um, cut me with her words. Um, we never know what people are going through in their real life on here, and I try to be kind to everybody. I don't dox people. I don't like going real life on people. You know, I try to clap back at people in an intelligent, funny way over things that they, they do on YouTube or in their YouTube videos. Um, but, you know... Every once in a while, I have a bad day, too, and you guys had watched my surgery video, knew that I was going through um, a lot of things. I had an upcoming surgery that was going to get scheduled, and um, me and my ex broke up, and I'm going to be alone. You know, the last time I went through this surgery, I had my mother with me, and she passed away, so I'm, you know, going to have to deal with having this surgery and rehabbing it by myself, which is fine. I'm strong enough to do that. But every once in a while, I have a bad day. And, you know, I was getting left these hateful fucking comments on YouTube from, you know, the Rick Snay supporter K over here. Um, it seems like the more that I call out the fact that there was a group from the, Dis the Delphi, not Discord, that was actively helping the defense team, I mean, I was getting trolled like you wouldn't believe. And I've already put some of that on my channel, guys, where you can see where, you know, these people were literally trolling me under their main accounts. Um, not for any reason, but because I was saying there was a group of them that were working in Discord with the defense, okay? So I'm going to read you guys um, hate, Kay's little hate comment over here that she leaves me. I guess she had seen, you know, she lurks on everything. So she must have seen me typing in chats. A lot of people were asking me about my surgery. You know, I had put a, a video up on my channel. And when you're that honest with people... It gives them ammunition to then use and turn around and hurt you. And that's exactly what she did. And I want you guys to see how these trolls operate. Like, how they try to make you feel alone and nobody likes you. Um, so let me begin. Jamie Hicks, seriously, give it up, fool. You seem more unhinged every time you show up anywhere. You have no common sense or integrity whatsoever. You think the louder you scream Richard Allen is guilty, the more it'll prove you want justice for Abby and Libby. I think the more that you scream the Odinists did it, um, everybody else did it, and, and all the weird shit, uh, same girl, same. <laughs> you know, but that's not true. I just want Richard Allen to have a fair trial. I want, to, I, I want him to have a, a fair trial with people that weren't actively helping the defense team come up with all the bullshit that y'all are now seeing in the Franks Memorandum and all the rest of the bullshit y'all have seen. I, I'm wondering if you were in there helping them, Kay. Were you in the Delphi Not Discord too? Were you, on the, were you in the pit? Were you the one helping these bitches too? Because you act like you have a stake in it. To literally go attack somebody and be this mean over a difference of opinion. But I digress. Okay, so here we go. <sighs> and nothing can be further from the truth. You think if they can just get a conviction that that will equal justice because someone's paying the price. I want the right person that committed the crime to be in prison. And Richard Allen admitted to being on the bridge he uh, confessed to his mama and he confessed to his wife. So let's put him on trial and let you uh, defense attorney trolls stop trying to fuck that up for us. How about that? You are such a miserable human being. I hope for your sake, your husband, if he's still around or your loved one is never accused of a crime. No doubt you'd be singing a whole different tune. If my ex or somebody that I knew was accused of a crime and I knew they were guilty, I would not defend them.
you're so hateful. Deflection much, Kay? I actually feel sorry for you. You're a nasty old hag. And nobody wants to hear what you've got to say. Or haven't you noticed? Question mark. Old hag, lady, I'm 43 years old. Okay, I don't know what old hag status that puts me in, but fuck it, I'll be an old hag because I'm not trying to fuck any dudes on here. So if everybody wants to think I'm a 600-pound old hag, I don't care. Shut up. Anyways, whenever you show up, even on another channel stream, people leave because nobody wants to listen to you. See, that's the kind of thing that I don't like. It's it's the way these trolls will try to make you feel like nobody else likes you or you're, you know, um, th they'll make you doubt yourself. Like, you know, well, I know that you guys sit in your little discord and talk shit on people and drop links and share things. So it, you know, maybe you and your little five friends that you have, Kay, um, think that you know, I'm all these things. And that's fine if you want to think that. But like, to be as hateful as you are to somebody that you don't even know and have never met, you don't know what people are going through in their real life. But in your case, you do. So you hit me where it hurt on purpose. Purposely. But for anybody else out there that that thinks they want to get involved with, with people that like to be hateful on the internet, I mean... Rick started his channel as a shit-talking channel. You know, he talked shit on all the other creators, Kristen behind a crime door. He talked shit about her. He talked shit about everybody. That was his shtick, okay? And that's probably why a lot of people have stayed the fuck away from his channel over the years. So, um, a few weeks ago... Actually, it was February 28th, the night of, you know, I was home alone and I was drinking and I'm scrolling through my comments and I just lost it. You know, I knew that I was going to have to schedule a surgery the next, I think it was like my appointment was like a week and a half away and I was really nervous about it and I took a handful of blood pressure medication don't try this at home, kids, okay? It's not what you want to do. Because for one, I didn't die. <laughs> um, I got the worst stomach ache I've ever had in my life and was throwing up violently. Um, they even gave me morphine. And that'll tell you when somebody is in that much pain, even intoxicated, they gave me morphine, okay? I, I don't suggest anybody ever try that. It's horrible. Um, and I spent a week in a mental health hospital and I found out that I was on a medication cause I have PTSD and stuff. And I was on this medication called Effexor and I did not know that it works on your norepinephrine, which, um, kind of can put you in fight or flight mode. And I don't know if that had anything you know, to do with the, the highs and the lows that I was having. I mean, it was just getting to the point where the lows were just really low and I could not pull myself out of it, you know. But now um, that that was explained to me, I've been on Prozac for about a month and I feel a lot better. I don't feel the, the extreme highs and the extreme lows anymore. Um, and I'm doing the best I can to just take care of myself and be a better human being and, you know, when you see bullying like this, don't, don't become a part of it. You know, it, you never know what somebody is going through in their real life. You know, it, it's, it's hard because this case has brought out a lot of emotion in people, um, and myself included. And we're stuck together, guys, because I'm not going to not Delphi. Like, I'm invested now. I have to see it through. You know, so I feel like you guys are my community. You're like my neighbors. So let's not let our neighbors fuck with each other and bully each other and keep that kind of culture going. You know, it, it's wrong. And it, it, I get sick of seeing it, you know. 
Um, I, it, it's to the point where anybody that think Richard Allen should be on trial gets annihilated. It doesn't matter what comment section you're in, what chat you're in. And it's like these, all these people act like they have a stake in it. And a lot of them do because a lot of them were in that discord helping the defense team. You know, if I was wrong, do you think that they would be trolling me like they do under their main accounts? Do you think they would be trying to discredit me and calling me crazy and and tell me like the most horrendous shit ever? No, you know, I'm telling the truth. And as you can see, you know, people like Kay think that they can just say whatever the fuck they want to people. So, Kay, you're going to have your little 15 minutes. You wanted to hurt my feelings, lady, and you hurt them. So good for you. And Rick, um, I DM'd you on Facebook Messenger with some receipts. If you want more receipts, I have I, I have all the paperwork. I even have the artwork that I did when I was in that place. Okay, I was in a mental hospital for like a week. Peace and love, y'all.